Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe for more of that. I wanna show you a super useful trick for kind of color correcting a phone screen. This works for any shot of like a screen from a camera or a TV, just ba just basically anything where you have a secondary screen that might not look exactly the way that you want it to. So here's our shot. We have this lady shooting a video through her phone. The problem is it looks great in real life and through her phone it looks kind of green and dark and nasty and even though that's realistic and probably how it actually looks, you might not want it to actually look like that on your video. So there's a few different ways that we could fix this. The easiest way is probably in the color page. So I'm gonna just click on the color page to load this into color. I'm gonna close my clips and my gallery for now just so we can see things a little easier. I'm gonna make a new node just in case I wanna do stuff before this node. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just select the phone screen. I'm gonna do that with a window. Down here in my color palettes, this third button over, it looks like a little ellipse. Those are our windows. And I'm gonna grab the pen. And it lets us draw a shape around whatever we want to make a mask so that we just affect things within the mask. And I'm just gonna draw this pretty loosely around this screen. What's important here is that this line is within that black part of this screen because it's just gonna be easier and now let's track this. I'm gonna hit Control T to track it forward from where it is, and it's gonna do an amazing job. And I'll hit Alt T to track it backwards. You can also do that same thing here in the tracker palette by clicking this track forward button or track backward button. Now we have that window stuck to our screen. Now whatever we do to this node is gonna be limited by that window. So if I make this super pink and crazy, it's just going to happen to the phone screen. Another thing I might do is just soften this a little bit Go back to my Windows palette, and down here where it says inside and outside, I'll just roll this in a little bit, just so it's a little bit of a smoother transition. Roll outside just a little bit. What that does is just feather this mask a little bit, so that there isn't a really, really sharp edge, which will make things look even better. Now we have our color correction isolated. I'm going to go down to the primaries wheels, and click this circle arrow in the upper right hand corner and reset things. Now I can color correct this independent from this image and I can pretty much color grade it just like I would a normal shot. It's just within a window. So, and if I really want to be cool, I can go to the upper left hand corner right here and click on this little magic wand. That's going to turn on our highlight mode. That's just going to show what we're affecting with this node, which happens to be just the screen. Then we can adjust our white balance just like we normally would. I'll grab my gain primary wheel and I'll move it a little bit further away from that green cyan look. And I'm gonna look at my parade and try and balance those highlights right here, just making sure these tips are all about the same height. Now looking back at our image, it's looking a little better. Let's look at the shadows. I'll do kind of the same thing. Maybe this whole thing needs to be a little bit brighter and maybe a little warmer, something like that. I can even sharpen it, go into the blur palette right here. And under radius, all I'm gonna do is just have my mouse over one of these bars, and I'm just gonna roll down a little bit with the wheel on my mouse. When you roll down on this blur radius, it sharpens things. And so now, it's not gonna be completely sharp, and it's not really realistic to expect it to be completely sharp, but it definitely looks a lot better. So, let's zoom out here, and I'll turn off my highlight, and here we have our nice phone screen. Let's turn on and off our node and see the difference here. So this is kind of the green dark look before, and the color corrected image after. Very, very cool and super easy. That took like two minutes to make this really, really nice. So I hope this was helpful for you. If color grading is kind of confusing or if you kind of got lost a little bit during this video, check out this video because it goes through all of the basic need to know stuff for color grading. It'll really help. Yeah, yeah, nice. Go ahead and, uh, you know, do some uh, clickety click.